11 miles of cobblestone. Today, boys and girls, we are going to Real de Catorce. After a long travel day, we settled into Las Palmas Hotel and RV Park, caught up on work, and did what any good American would do, found a Walmart. We just had our first Mexican Walmart experience. It was pretty similar to Walmarts in the States, but a heck of a lot cheaper. We're talking like half the price pretty much on everything. What's wrong? Do we need 12 bottles of Pedialyte? I may have went a little overboard. Yeah, some stuff, it's interesting, like wine is more expensive than in the U.S., but hard liquor is cheap. So a bottle, a 750 milliliter bottle of absolute vodka, which in the States would run about $20 to $25, was only $14, $15 in there. Um, what else was super cheap? Avocados, oh my goodness, I'm going to love it here. Avocados are super cheap. All the produce, I got a head of lettuce for like a dollar. Well, plus you got to hold your first, what was that fruit? Oh my gosh, the papaya! This is a papaya. It's bigger than my head. Oh my gosh. I've yeah. never, I didn't even know papayas could be that big. I think it was massive. And I did successfully ask in Spanish if there were any strawberries, but my problem was I did not understand where she was telling me they were, and we must have looked all over that produce section yeah. and never found a single strawberry. Yeah. But so. overall, Walmart, mm -hmm. good Mexico. Yeah. So our overall bill total was? $57. $57. So that's 1,078 pesos. We got a, a good amount of food, produce. Um, in the States, that would have been a lot more money for not very many things. Plus a 12-pack of Modelo Negro. For? Uh, it was $10, I think. Yeah, sounds right. For 12. I think we're going to like it here. Mm-hmm. Today, boys and girls, we are going to Real de Catorce, which is an old silver uh, mining town that is abandoned. Um, I love ghost towns. I always have, and um, being able to explore things like that, particularly in Mexico, I think is a really awesome experience. So we're going to go and find out what is behind the two-kilometer tunnel. It's completely cut off from the rest of civilization except by this one tunnel that is two kilometers long and it's a one-way tunnel, meaning that you take turns and somebody radios to the other side to indicate that all the cars have gone through in one direction and then they reverse the direction of the tunnel. Super cool.
could feel the cold and the wind as soon as we came through the tunnel. And with just 1,300 people living here today, it really is a ghost town compared to 15,000 at its peak. And for being a tourist attraction, not a lot was open. We did make some cute new friends, signed the official town guest book, and headed off to check out the historic cathedral. Constructed beginning in 1779, the church boasted eight paintings of saints, as well as a stained glass panel over the main altar of the Immaculate Conception. The ornate wooden dome caved in in 1800, but rebuilding began shortly thereafter. By 1817, the redecorated church was inaugurated. So people pin things, uh, little trinkets, to this cloth. I think out of good luck or attempting to get blessings from the church. Uh, you can see pictures of people. Um, there's even a sonogram over on one of the other ones. Just across the street, housed in the old Mint building, is the town's museum. Inside, we found lots of items related to the old mining and mint days, as well as history on the surrounding area. This town is truly like a one-stop shop because they mined the silver and then immediately took it to this building where they minted the coins. So all these cases are full of coins from the mint. It's very windy. We just finished at the museum, the cathedral, and now we are on the hunt for food. So we're trying to find tamale stand or tacos. I don't think it'll be too hard. <laughs> There's a porcelain. Oh, okay. <laughs> so remember when I said I didn't think we'd have a problem finding food? Well, <laughs> it turns out we are having a problem. It is a, it's a holiday. national yeah. holiday. Yeah, yeah, it's Constitution Day. So there are a lot of things that are closed. Uh, but Liz just asked somebody. So this street or the next one up? So I think that we might be yeah, on to something now. So fingers crossed because we are all very hungry. So some of us ordered hot tea and some of us ordered coffee and we weren't sure which this was. Uh, Liz tasted it for me. <laughs> it turns out this is the coffee. So she says it's really good. Mm. Very sweet, but yes. very good. I'm mad I didn't order that. <laughs> yes. It's like hominy, so it's like corn uh, with chicken. We definitely hit the jackpot with this lunch spot. All of the ingredients were so fresh and delicious, and the hot coffee and soup refueled us for heading back out into the cold. So we were just in the original bull ring in the town. And I think it was in the early 2000s, they were still doing bull fights. Uh, and a bull leapt over the rock wall and stormed the town. And eventually they caught the bull and he became carne asada. This is tequila and sangria. And this was a dollar. That is good. What does it taste like? Oh, it 
It literally tastes like um, like a white color. our first excursion in Mexico to the town of Real de Catorce. We got our steps in, we walked all over those cobblestone streets. Yep, we had a great meal. Lunch was absolutely delicious. I think what was interesting too was that we were there on a rare weather day. You were saying that the guy told you there was a storm. Oh yeah, apparently. So I was in a, we were in a little shop and apparently there's a storm that we're feeling right now is causing damage in Mexico City and also in Argentina, like all the way down that far. Wow. So there's trees down, power lines down in Mexico City, plus there's a huge like sandstorm that's sweeping across Argentina right now. So this, wow. is, uh, this is rare weather for sure. So if you like chicken soup with hominy, uh, vampiro, which is actually pretty good even though nobody else liked it, uh, us or stray dogs, you should subscribe to us. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and click the bell so you get notifications when we post new videos. Thanks Thank for watching. <laughs>